it's Katie the Crafty Crab and I have a very belated unboxing for you so um, a while ago now I'm trying to think it may have been in March um, my one of my favorite um, subscription services Craftbox did a limited edition and I think they do these I want to say every quarter and um, and uh, they do a limited so they do a monthly craft subscription and they do um, a mixed media subscription now and uh, maybe bi-monthly flowers Um I I don't get every box so I'm a little bit out of date Um but um they also do this um, maybe quarterly or every couple of months well that's the same thing really limited edition and these craft boxes are always themed around a specific project so a previous one um, has been a shadow box um, um, I'm trying to think of the other ones I think there's been a white themed one um, and this one is a mini album now I've already opened it and had a look but um, I'm going to be doing this project and uh, I thought the good thing would be is to film the project um, along the way because I'm going to be, um, um, what's the word, not testing, um, pushing myself to do new techniques and different things and this is just going to be for me as well. Um, so um, first of all the box is uh, this beautiful gold colour and uh, as with all the craft box things it's got this magnetic closure. Um, so I'm just going to get everything out and then show you as I put things back in so bear with me a second um, and uh, so this, this video isn't sponsored by them or anything um, this is something I bought myself and I just wanted to show off so um, oh wow it's so beautiful <laughs> so uh, it all came wrapped in this beautiful uh it's kind of like a plummy very browny purpley um deep plum tissue paper so i should put that and i have my contents list here so um i won't do this in the order it is i'll do it on what might be easier so the first thing is um you get the um mini album base so this looks like it's um made from snip art um it has it's it's very pliable but it's um it's kind of like a wood chip feel paper so i don't know if you can see how thick that is so you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you get 10 of those um, and I guess the good thing is if um, if you had bought this box you don't have to do a mini album you could just um, almost use these pieces as um, a kind of alternative to a canvas so you get 10 pieces um, and you get these rings in which to bind them with um, and then the papers so the papers are from 13 Arts, um, I've not heard of them before, so um, these are all very, are these, th yeah, so these are all very vintagey, it looks like there's two of everyone, so um, yeah, got butterflies, um, oh lovely. I love this as well. Um, oh, and this is beautiful as well with the roses and the clock. So you get those, and um, at the same time, the owner Anna also sent you uh, this gorgeous vintage-looking postcard um, as a thank you, and she always includes um, the inspiration ideas so this is something she's created with this kit um, and I think the theme of this is royalty and it is very vintage royalty um, so uh, this is the uh, 13 arts stencil 
and um, I'm taking it out of the packaging because of course you could also use this card it's black with some flourishes and writing but oh look at this beautiful stencil so I love the fact it's got music notes and um, it's got some kind of vintagey looking labels and then the words always remember beautiful moments so um, the reason I want to make this project on camera is um, because I really think I, I don't want to share any of these gorgeous elements with anyone and I just want to have it all for myself um, and also as a nice way to maybe capture some of my own family memories um, so how does that go in? There we go. All right. So it wouldn't be a craft box without the mulberry flowers. Um, so we've got gold here, very deep blue, silver, um, and these look almost all of them, apart from this little purple one, are roses. So some really gorgeous, rich colours there. Then we have some spoon charms. So, hmm. where are they? Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, and I forgot to say, look at this beautiful ribbon. So this is blue edged in gold, and that was what um, everything was wrapped up in the tissue with. So that, I know I'll be able to use as well. So I won't take everything out of the packaging, but you've got here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spoon charm so you've got um kind of bronze dullish color but i mean i say dullish but it you know looks really vintage and then some silver ones um so they're beautiful um some appliques now oh my gosh how gorgeous are these so i will take these out because it looks like there's more than one um Oh wow, and I do love blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors. So we have this beautiful blue flower, and then uh, this long, I mean, it's like, it's almost like cherry blossom, but in blue. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's all over the place, but look at that. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I'm going to try and make that go a long way because that I love. Um, let's try and fit this back in. And I think I see little Malkin trying to make a move over. Hello, Puss Cat. Hello, darling. You can stay there. Good girl. Um, so, large crystal charm. So, there's so many things as well, beautifully packaged in these gorgeous little bags. Oh, it looks like the madam is coming over. Oh, wow, I don't think that. Oh, go away, good girl. So, large crystal charm again absolutely gorgeous gorgeous blue and kind of diamantes and gold um and that came in this beautiful blue velvet like bag go away pussy go away munchkin good girl um a set of royal charms so that came in this red velvet bag and again you can use i mean you can use these for gifts or somehow incorporate them into um the um mini album so we've got here um a crown on a kind of key there's a little bee here um lots of crown charms um tiaras yeah all different colors as well you've got some really um what do they call it um I can't remember the word, but anyway, you've got brass and gold and silver. So trying to cater as well for different um, people's tastes. Um, crystal and pearl capuchons. So um, let me see. So 
say. Hmm. Might just see. Leave that to the end because I can't find that at the minute. Um, embroidered ivory lace. So this beautifully embroidered, and then some very thin netted uh, in between the lace elements there. And I wouldn't be surprised, looking how much is in there, if there's a meter in there. Um, absolutely gorgeous again. And what would be nice is if you do use um, some mists or sprays, you know, just to absorb some colour as well. So absolutely beautiful. Um, <coughs> So then we have the uh, large glass royal cabochons. So we have these beautiful ladies here, these regal princesses. And then you have the settings to go with them. So there is this amazing silver uh, filigree detail. Um, and this one also is very gorgeous, the detail as well. So I cannot wait to get stuck into these. Um, we have the um, semi-precious stone pendants so there's four in here and there's this one which let's see if I can get it out it probably won't come across as beautiful on camera I'll get them all out actually but this I really like because let me see if I can get that on camera. If you, I don't know if you can see, it's all glittered as well. Um, and then look at this, absolutely stunning. And I do like this one as well. And this one, yeah. <laughs> but, oh, absolutely wonderful. Then we have um, <clears throat> a gold pen. Um, so it says it's a metallic craftwork pen. So that would be nice to use in the album. And um, a set of juzies. So we have gold. And then we have these... Um, purpley, turquoisey glitter, um, kind of teardrops as well. So there's loads in there. Um, now, the things I've got left. So the things we couldn't see. Um, what can we just see? So set of crystal and pearl cabochons. So in this gorgeous little black and gold bag, there were these beautiful... Um, charms so we have uh, a little throne and then so so I I didn't recognize these as cabochons but um I mean the detail the florals and the diamantes and the pearls beautiful so those were the things I think that were missing and then <clears throat> things that aren't listed on here and we've also got a snip out of the word album so that's really helpful um, and then I found some paper so it might be that the postcards were um, uh, an extra uh, for being a regular subscriber I don't know so um, we've also got these papers so again very uh, feminine florals and butterflies absolutely and these are 13 arts as well oh i love that one i love that texture and that is it so um so this is what the contents look like so it says winter limited edition and the theme is royalty um so i think it probably came out in february and maybe got dispatched in march um but i absolutely love this so i will be um creating this album and um, as I go along as I make a page I'll um, try to film it and show you the different techniques I'm using and uh, I'll probably do it in sections and then um, at some point um, 
film a final flip through of it all. So um, once again, those are the beautiful items from um, this limited edition craft box. So unfortunately, I don't think you can buy this now. Um, but uh, I will happily show you what I do with it. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.